That's right. The National Havoc Robot League, Robot League, is the largest, most accessible robot combat league in the world. These, they are no joke. I mean, they're literally on fire. So the competitors combined groundbreaking technology and off-the-wall ideas to amaze audiences in robot combat for bragging rights and cash and money. Every, all as well. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, mm. get the money. All dollar bills, y'all. Thank He's you. He's from Shaolin. <laughs> <laughs> Without any further ado, joining us this morning with an up-close and personal look at the mechanics behind this intense sport are bot king of New York, Evan Arias, and evil henchman, Sam Hansen. Did These? we get the nicknames right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. These are some names. Look at this. And Evan, you Mad are from Satin Island. That, oh, yeah. that shout out Team to Shred it, Shred it by, look at the Look at the vest. Mad man Evan. The drip. Holy smokes. It's a vibe. Okay, who, let's get right down to brass techs. Who have you brought with you today? So today I have Shredder Bro, I have a fresh one, and also a war-torn one. A war-torn? <laughs> yes, me and my co-captain G have been doing this for about three years, and uh, we absolutely love this sport. It's an up-and-coming sport. And yeah. Yeah, there's just so many people. I mean, you have kids and, like, people as young as nine or even, like, 90 years old coming into the sport. Well, that's From what nine I love. to 90. This oh, is yeah. what I love most. One of the things I love most about learning about what you guys do is that, I, I, from my understanding, you started with a couple of people you're at a warehouse and now this has grown exponentially you have your own broadcast there's a broadcast studio to to narrate everything that's yeah. going on there's competitions there's cash involved you've got anyone from age 12 to how yeah. old, how old what's the range oh 90 and plus 90 I mean, exactly 90 it's incredible how this has grown it's you, just snowballs you have this is a version of this you're correct yeah so, that's what it looks like before then, and then what's that's this the over there Who's over there? So oh. that that's Brett. He's one of our referee bots at oh. the NHRL, and he's in the ring while these size robots are fighting. Okay. Wow. Um, and so he, he's like 20 times the size of these guys. He's equipped with a camera and okay. a full set of emotions. And oh, he, is Brett, <laughs> emotions. Is Brett, I was gonna say, is he, yeah. he looks happy that? right now. Uh, he can be happy. He also can get a little <gasps> angry. Uh oh. Oh. Um, but for the most part, he, uh -huh. he just sits in the ring and does his job. Oh, sometimes he gets he's knocked just out. Not collecting no, he's a, a black eye. No, he had a black eye for a second. He's not collecting a paycheck. He's, he's trying to keep the peace. He just sits in his ring and does the job. So <laughs> uh, how, how did you both get into this, and yeah. how long ago was that, and how has this kind of evolved for you? So roughly for me, about three years ago, I was like, you know, I saw it on TV. I wanted to know, how do you do this? Yeah. So I reached out to a Facebook group called Be Away Combat Robotics, and one of the heavyweight guys, Alex Kreese, which I'm now calling my friend, he absolutely gave me all the information how to get started and all the guidelines. And then I heard about National Havoc Robot League. So from there, I had a month to do it, and I teamed up with my teammate and co-captain Gennady. And from there, we hit the ground running. We did our first tournament. We went one and two. It wasn't the best showing. OK. But then you got to start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. But after that, we kept climbing the ladder. Eventually, our second tournament, we got first place. And then from there, I've been finalist. And now, all over the country, and even made a heavyweight version of this robot. OK. Let me ask you, Sam. Is the goal to beat the living daylights out of the other robot? What is the... Absolutely, yeah. You want to knock your opponent out. Uh, so you have a certain amount of time to do that. And if you don't knock them out in that time, then we have judges. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, real quick. Talk to us about competition. Yes, you got something coming up. That you have coming oh, yeah. up. Who can take part? When? What do we have to do? Who okay. where, where, when, when, how? So it's, it's this coming weekend, the okay. 24th and 25th in Norwalk, Connecticut. Shout out to Norwalk. There we go. And um, so as of now, it's a little too late to sign up and build a robot for this tournament, Man. which is in two days. Okay. But uh, we're welcome, or spectators are welcome. There and, we go. And we've got all sorts of food trucks and games for kids. Oh. And we've had eight arenas for these robots to fight in. So there's eight. constant action throughout the day. Okay. This is a full blown ordeal. I love it. And yeah, we um, actually drew up guys, some sketches. I know you said it's the competition is closed, but you know what? We have our own bot ideas that we have sketched. We want to share okay. them with you, but it's going to be on our Instagram page. So if you're not already, be sure to follow us at NY Living TV to see our sketches and see whose idea they pick. Plus, that's pick not the, it. Pick the right person. Apparently, please. there's going to be a very special announcement. We are not privy to this information, but there is an announcement. There is one. So, National uh, Havoc Robot League's next tournament is June 24th through 25th in Norwalk, Connecticut. Like the man said, learn more and get tickets at nhrl.io.